The banks profit when you're financially uneducated because they'll keep you saving money in the bank. They'll keep you in mm. consumer debt. If the banks lived by their own advice, which is save money, the banks would be losing money. When you go and deposit $1,000 in the bank, that cash that you deposited is a liability for the bank. An asset is something that puts money in your pocket. A liability is something that takes money away from your pocket. So when the bank has your cash, it's a liability for them. They want to get rid of it as fast as possible. And the way they do that is by lending it out because it's an investment for the bank. They don't want to hold on to cash, but they want you to save your money. You, you to give them cash. Right. And just leave it there. Leave it there. And what's happening to your cash while it's there? It's losing value to inflation each and every day. Every day that you keep your cash in the bank, you're becoming poorer each and every day. I feel like a king within myself and I'm living like a peasant. If I continue to feel like a king, eventually I'm going to change my surrounding to make it look like a palace. If you want a nice watch, you will to buy two of them. The watch is 40 grand, you gotta, build, gotta have 80 grand. Why is it that? needs to be in cash and it should be from passive income cash, not earned income. Why is that mindset you need to be able to buy two of them? If you can buy two of them, dude, you're probably cool. So then, then you don't ever, like, like, when do you spend, somebody asked me the question once, hey man, when's it all right to spend a rapper? Hey man, when's it all right to be stupid? But when you got stupid money, you can be stupid. Yeah. What is stupid money? Well, stupid money ain't earned income. Mm. Never. Mm. Even if you made $10 million. I don't care how much you made. If you made 10 and paid five to the IRS and you got five left, you don't spend that. I never spend that money, ever. I, I never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever spend earning. I'm going to show you how to become a millionaire. All you need is to have one thing that you can get $10 for. I don't care if it's cutting hair, cutting grass, painting, babysitting. Just get somebody to give you $10. All I want you to do is do it and get $10. I want you to do it 10 more times. You're going to have $1,000. Here's the trick of tricks. Once you make $100,000, you're going to have to fire, hire a few people. Same thing you did to make the 100000 I just want you to do it 10 more times. Congratulations. You are a million. The rich people concept. So you can get to understand it. The only difference between successful people and not, it's just how they think. Rich people think different. Quit letting people tell you you got to get qualified in another program. You don't need another program to be successful. You need to change the way you think. So here's the deal. The problem with becoming a millionaire is that when you decide that you want to be a millionaire, you immediately start thinking, how can I become a millionaire? Well, that thought don't just pop into your head. So you get frustrated and you don't become a millionaire. And you start creating stuff like, well, I guess this wasn't the Lord's will. Or as soon as I think of how I'm going to make a million. You can't think of how to make a million dollars. Stop. Do you know if you knew how to make a million dollars? What's the day? Tuesday? Wouldn't you make it by Friday? Would not you make it by Friday? But suppose I told you how you can become a millionaire with what you have. Because here's the deal. All of you have everything it takes to become rich. You just don't believe it. If you are really confident about your financial situation, you probably are not going to be wearing an eight pound chain around your neck. Because you know, oh, I got bank. I don't have to show you how much I got. I feel good. Think of it like this, if you start today and you work to get a little bit better every single day, by the time summer comes, you'll be a completely different person. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. Nobody talks about saving money. Like, it's just not a conversation. If you make 49,000 a year, 
live as if you're making 27. Everybody lives over what they make. No wonder you can't save money. Your apartment's too nice. Of course you can't save money. Your car is too fancy. Of course you can't save. You're buying clothes you can't afford. There are motherfuckers that complain to me. Are you in a shit spot? Are you in debt? You don't like it? There's gonna be no fast track to a million dollars that's gonna fix that. Man, there's so many fucking fucked up moves out here, my friends. I haven't even started.